In this tutorial, we will be looking at how to solve equations and formulas that have a variable cubed. We will use the same method as we used to solve for variables that are squared. What is the radius, r, of a sphere with a volume of 114 centimeters cubed? We'll start off by writing the formula for the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Since we are trying to solve for r, we need to isolate r cubed. So we'll start by multiplying both sides by 3 over 4. So on the left side of the equation, we have 3v over 4 equals the 4s on the right side cancel as well as the 3s and we're left with pi r cubed. From here we'll divide both sides by pi so we get 3v over 4 pi is equal to pi's cancel and we're left with r cubed. Now that we have r cubed by itself, press pause and see if you can do the next step based on what you've already learned in the previous lessons. Press play when you're ready to continue. If you are stuck, here's a hint. We can use the same method as we used for solving squared variables, but there's a small difference when dealing with cubes instead of squares. So the next step, we need to take the cube root of both sides. Similar to how a square root cancels out a square, a cube root cancels out a cube. So the cube root of r cubed gives us r. So from here, r is now equal to the cube root of 3v over 4 pi. So now that we have a formula for r, we can start substituting in our variables. In this example, we'll consider pi to be equal to 3.14. So now we have r is equal to the cube root of 3 times 114 divided by 4 times 3.14. So we can plug this into our calculators and you'll get an answer of 3.01 centimeters. In this lesson, you learned how to solve for a variable that is cubed by isolating the cubed variable on one side of the equation and then taking the cube root of both sides of the equation.